What's happening, everybody? It's Rod with Pow Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ stocks, crypto assets, news and interviews. Today is Wednesday, July 10th. Hope you're doing fantastic. In this video, we've got some big news. We have a group of senators, a bipartisan group of senators, reaching an agreement to ban Congress and members of Congress and their families from trading stocks. This is something I've been talking about for a couple of years now that I expected to be a top indicator in the markets. And a monkey could tell you that this shouldn't be allowed. And this is Nancy Pelosi's worst nightmare. As you can see, she's pretty angry here on the thumbnail. But before we get to it, make sure to smash the like. It helps support me in the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're new, you can subscribe. Tick the bell. All that good stuff. You'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. As always, this is not financial advice. And you should never buy or sell anything based on anything that I say or write. You can also follow us over on X, formerly Twitter. The handle for that is at Group Pow. I'm going to be using that as my platform of choice going forward. Before we get started, I want to thank our sponsor of today's video, and that's BitGet. BitGet is a leading crypto exchange with over 25 million users and 10 billion in USDT in daily trading volume. BitGet also offers a variety of trading options and has the largest crypto copy trading platform. BitGet also has great transparency with industry-leading proof-of-reserve ratios. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the link in the description. You can earn sign-up bonuses by using our link, and it also helps the channel out. This is a paid promotion in collaboration with BitGet. If you recall, there was an article here from February 18th, 2022, when the Federal Reserve approved the rules banning its officials from trading stocks, bonds, and also crypto. So a lot of people were saying, well, they've been talking about banning Congress and members of Congress from and these lawmakers from uh, owning stocks and whatnot for, for decades and for years. Well, the difference is this time the Federal Reserve was banned from owning stocks. And when did they ban themselves? Well, it was in 2021, right at the end of 2021. 2022, when the stock market was in all-time all highs, and then we saw like a 70-80% correction on a lot of individual stocks. So they don't ban themselves at the all-time low, right? Because they're crooks, right? These people should be behind bars. And like I said, Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi worth hundreds of millions of dollars on just a couple hundred thousand dollar salary uh, working in Congress doesn't make any sense, right? Obviously, she's uh, the biggest insider trader of all time. And I've got a couple of videos that I've already shared on the channel, which I'll bring up here in just a moment. But this gave me that much more confidence that we were going to see this happen, right? The fact that the Federal Reserve banned themselves meant this time was different. And we're starting to see more and more information uh, come to light and more and more probability that this is going to happen. But this was the article from today. So you can see here published July 10th, 2024. Senators strike bipartisan deal for a ban on stock trading by members of Congress. A bipartisan group of senators reached a new agreement on legislation that would ban members of Congress from trading stocks. The deal would forbid members of Congress, their spouses and dependent children, as well as the president and vice president from purchasing and selling stocks while in office. But they're just figuring out this now that this is probably a, a good idea. I, I, I don't know. My daughter's like just over five months old. I'm pretty sure uh, she could figure this out. The proposal is the latest chapter in a years-long saga to limit lawmakers' ability to play the stock market. Ethics experts say that legislators' access to that kind of information they receive, which is insider information, gives them the potential of having an unfair advantage to the investing public. Hmm. Okay, so these people are finally starting to to reach the monkey IQ level. And uh, they're starting to put together that, oh, this might be a problem. <laughs> so uh, just absolute ludicrous. Also, there was some news out today that I came across. Um, on, yeah, it was July 9th. So I came across this today. Pro XRP lawyer, John E. Deaton. Uh, he's running for the Senate. He's looking to replace Senator uh, corrupt Senator uh, Elizabeth Warren, uh, trying to displace her. So I highly encourage you to go to johndeatonforsenate.com. Um, if you can donate to his cause, we got to get her out of there. She's she's corrupt. She's bought and paid for. She works for the uh, for the banks, and uh, she's absolutely a terrible human. So she has to go. And look, just look at how awesome this guy is. Like, just look at the character behind this guy. So uh, he's talking about what he would do. Uh, Deaton unveils initial Senate bills and agrees with Musk on regulatory capture. So obviously, the SEC, the head of the SEC, is Golden Gary. That stands for um, Gary Gensler. He's the head of the SEC. He used to work for Goldman Sachs. That's why they call him Goldman, uh, Goldman Gary. So literally these Wall Street banks, right? He's now the head of the SEC regulating this. And he's just an absolute corrupt, terrible scumbag. And you can see here, he goes on to talk about uh, how he agrees with Musk. And in the wake of challenging Democratic U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren has made attention, nabbing statements, zeroing in on the saga. So these are the initial Senate bills. In his post, Deaton detailed his tireless efforts over the years to expose regulatory capture with the U.S. SEC concerning this pro-XRP lawyer spotlight now that he sued the SEC pro bono on behalf of thousands. I think it was like over 70, 75,000 people. 
This encompasses legal battles with Ripple Labs, aka the XRP lawsuit, Coinbase, and others. So since January 1st, 2021, De Deaton's legal tussle to ensure ethical regulatory e efficiency has not aided him in achieving even a dime. Nonetheless, Deaton stated his first Senate bill will be for congressional term limits. So saying how long you can you can serve essentially in Congress, which is, again, that should be, there should definitely be a limit on it. Like you shouldn't be able to be a lifelong career politician. It doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, you're not there to earn money and, and a career. You're there to help the country and work for the people, right? Further, a second bill would impose a three to five year statutory bar preventing regulators, including lawyers, from working in the same industry they were in, uh, just in charge of regulating, will also be imposed. In context, one working as the FDA chairman won't be able to sit on the board of Pfizer. Hmm. Just common sense ain't so common these days, is it? So we need to get uh, we need to get Deaton in there. We need to replace corrupt Senator Warren. And we need to go back to pro common sense. These people are just corrupt. They're bought and paid for. They're power hungry. They're just after the, the dollar signs. They're not here for the people. They're here for the money. And they just want to get this insider information at the highest level. And uh, we really need to reach out to our senators, vote for John Deaton, reach out to your senators, reach out to your um, your representatives in your area and let them know that we want this to happen. This should not be allowed. Like I said, uh, a monkey could figure this out that they should not be able to own stocks. And again, I posted a video on this not too long ago. It was a short video. And then I also put that was uh, I believe he was a Democrat. Um, but uh, this was this one was a Republican and he's actually a Republican nominee. And I'll just get his name here real quickly here for you. Uh, see if I can pull it up. Uh, yeah, so it was on Kiko News. I can't remember his name. There we go. Bernie Mo Moreno. And he's Ohio Senate nominee. And he says that he sold his business because he was running for, for Senate. And he sold all of his stocks, all of his crypto. And he so said he sold his business, which was his baby. And he said that that's a conflict of interest. He doesn't believe in that, right? So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's on my, uh, just go to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can search another one, ban Congress this time, or Republican, or just search, uh, just go to the video section and scroll down. You'll see it. It's not too far down. Uh, but let me play this quick short video again, just in case anybody had missed it. Securities by any individual instruments, including Bitcoin, because me and Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez and Matt Gates actually have a bill that we want to become law banning the purchase and trading of securities by members of Congress. I don't think we should be doing that, any of that because we have too much insider information. Well, many would argue that that has benefited the likes of Nancy Pelosi, as well as some other um, representatives, current and past, where they do have inside information and have been able to trade off that information and uh, really increase their portfolios. What kind of support do you have for this bill and, and what would it entail? We have the American people support. The vast majority of Americans, Republicans, Democrats and independents support my bill. So I'm going to push very hard. Well, you got Matt Gates and AOC. Right. So clearly some unusual bipartisanship. On, on that front. Don't trade any individual security. So as you can see, uh, they talk about the American people. Oh, they finally started to remember the people, right? Oh, we work for the people. So uh, just absolute stupidity, right? It's just corruption. Nancy Pelosi's worst nightmare, but you know, I'm sure she'll sleep well at night knowing that uh, she's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Nancy Pelosi net worth. Let's just do a quick search as well. Um, yeah, so she's estimated worth... Um, 114 million in 2018 so and that was in 2018 so i'm pretty sure uh yeah she, november 25th pelosi's net worth 2021 was estimated to be as much as 171 million so she's worth north of 200 million dollars um maybe even more than that today so absolutely disgusting uh, these people should be behind bars for what they're doing and uh let's just see if they can let's see if we can get back to a world of logic and common sense. And uh, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, these people should be behind bars. They're crooks. They're criminals. As far as I'm concerned, you can smell their criminal activities from miles away. And uh, I saw this coming from miles away. And it's just, it's almost sad, the state of the, the affairs uh, that we're in and the system that we have. Uh, it's just so obvious what they're doing here. And you know, of course, they don't ban themselves near 52-week lows or all-time lows. They ban themselves when the stock market's ripping to new highs, probably ahead of the worst financial crash in market history. But I'm not here for doom and gloom. I'm just being a realist. If you haven't seen the video, How I'm Preparing for One of the Worst Market Crashes in History, check that out on my channel. I'll help you prepare for that. But it is inevitable. We will see a massive crash 
the likes of the 1929 Great Depression, in my opinion. But again, we can prepare. We got lots of time to prepare. So check out that video that does exactly that. It gives you some ideas on how to prepare. All right, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. And uh, Nancy Pelosi, if you're listening, screw you. <laughs> Your fun is over. All right. Thanks again for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth. It's Rod with Power Group. Have a fantastic evening, and we'll see you again on the next video.